Que onda, que onda, que onda. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you guys are new, welcome. What up? My name is Karen Sarai. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look right here. We are using some new products in today's video. Pretty much a bunch of new stuff that launched in the month of April. I feel there was kind of a lot of launches. And also just hang out, do a makeup video, chill, relax. That's what we're doing in today's video. This look though was inspired by one of my good friends, Griselda Mira. I really fell in love with the look that she did. So I really wanted to recreate um, the look with my own little twists and tweaks to it. So with that said guys, grab some snacks, grab whatever you're doing let's hang out and let's get glam before we get started we're gonna light up a candle to set the mood we're gonna be going in with this one today from we're gonna be going in like if I'm making it now. we're gonna be lighting up this one from Bath and Body Works it is called Ocean Garden so I just want to you know set the mood in here yes mm, I'm ready let me pray didn't I tell you to stay up here so you can move the camera in I already did it Sebastian? This was a bad idea. <laughs> Fuck off! Okay, so I'm gonna go in first with a little bit of a hydrating glow mist. This is from the Glow Recipe and it is their Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is now my second bottle that I have used. It is so good. It smells literally like a watermelon decorator. Next, I'm gonna apply a little bit of a serum. This one is new to me. I don't know if it's new so much, but it is the Dr. Jart Radiance Serum. This is infused with their Energy Peptides. I'm gonna work it into my fingers first and then just kind of press. I have been kind of breaking out lately, you know? Travel periods. So next for my moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer. This was released about a month or two ago, but it is so, so good. I've really been liking it. So I'm gonna be applying just a generous amount onto my skin. Just gonna picking up whatever's on the lid. And this one is a ultra hydrating, anti-aging, replenishing Japanese purple rice moisturizer for dry skin right here. Next, I wanna jump into my eyebrows. This one, I'm really excited to show you guys on camera how to use because I have been using it since I've received it and it is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade and I'm gonna be going in with the shade 380 Deep Brown. This is incredible. I'm a big fan of brow pomades, but not a big fan of a lot of brow pomades that are out there. Everything else I've tried in the past seems to kind of separate and not really stay as long or be as intense as I want it to. This one, however, has a really good consistency. I'm really happy with it. For my kind of brows, I'm being very thick and sparse. It's a perfect product for my eyebrows. So I'm gonna be dipping into the product. I'm going to get the excess amount, kind of roll it onto the back of my hand. And then from there, I'm now just going to follow the hair strokes of my brow hair. So then right here, I'm just going to flick up. That's all I really do is just hold the brush vertical so that you can achieve more of a hair-like stroke versus a very boxed brow. And I don't mind some pieces being a little darker because I find that to look a little bit more realistic versus them being all perfectly stroked on there. And then right here, just going to lightly follow my natural brow shape. Can you guys see I barely like dipped back into any product. That's pretty much it for that brow for now. Mmm, the candle smells fire. Brows look good. We're gonna go ahead and put some base on my eyes. I'm just going in with P. Louise. This is in the shade Rumor. So it just kind of looks like a concealer shade. And I love this, especially when I'm mixing a bunch of colors. I'm going to move now into some shadows and I have a hot new Fuego Caliente palette for you guys. I'm barely getting to it right now, but I'm super excited to use it. And that is the Shayla X ColourPop Proceed with Caution. This is her number two collection with them. And I think she just came for us on this one, honestly. She came with fire. She did not come to play. She came out with bomb shades. We have golds. So we got metallics, mattes. We got this fire yellow right here. Reminds me of a juicy limon. So we are just going to dive right into it. Use the shade Culture. Can you guys say I have been like touching it like crazy? And this is actually the one of the shades from her first palette. It was actually one of the shades in the palette that I hit pan on right away because I used it every day. I mean, you guys can see it's just such a stunning color. And working it pretty much all over the eyelid. And pretty much for anybody who is new to my channel doesn't know why I'm applying this color all over. This is truly what's going to blend all the shades together, 
a lot of everything to nicely transition into the brow bone. So next, I'm gonna go with the shade Maintenance, and I'm just going to tap this right above the eye socket. I'm gonna define my eye shape out. They're all really pretty like that. Could be really bomb. That, oh, kind of digging this one. That one too. I think that will look really nice. Yeah, let's just apply it on. And then from there, we'll go ahead and smoke out the crease. Ooh, ooh, this color. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus onto the brush. Intensify the lid a little more. Mm. Now I'm gonna pick up this brush, that Morphe M506. It's like my holy grail. I'm actually gonna pick up Cultured and a little bit of Maintenance. I'm just going to slightly take it over the shade to kind of, again, give it some drama. Now I'm gonna go with the shade gloves on. I'm gonna spray the brush down. We're gonna make this kind of into like a smoky liner. So now all I'm doing is going in with the shade gloves on and I'm lightly just, you know, tapping it out, smoking it out. All right, and that is it for now. Next we're gonna be going in with the Pat McGrath Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner. This is by far one of the best felt tip liners I have played with. It is so dark, it is so intense, and this one is really, really good. So I'm just going to like, just show you real quick how dark it is. You will need eye makeup remover to remove this. I find if I wash my face with like a melting balm and then my cleanser, I still have eyeliner residue left over. So I highly recommend getting yourself a good eye makeup remover to take this off with. All right, so I pretty much like to first go in and guide my eye with the liner. Then from there, I'm gonna go to the outer corner of the eye and then just kind of lightly work it up. If you guys end up going too far out, just grab a makeup wipe and the tip of your nail. Every few strokes, I'll get a new piece of the cloth where there's no product on there. Back in with that shade gloves on. I'm going to press that over the liner. And then from there, I'm gonna go back in with that wipe with the clean side. So I'm gonna go in now and do this side of the eye. And then ta-da, those are the eyes. So next for mascara, we're gonna be using this one from MAC. This is their Extended Play Perm Me Up Lash. And we're just going to be popping this on before we go in with some falsies. So next for lashes, we're gonna be using the Style Hollywood from Lily Lashes. Lashes are intact. Look what a difference that does. It just gives you like the ultimate like bad bitch look, you know? Now we're gonna get into some primer and today we're gonna be using this one from Milk Makeup. It's the Hydro Grip Primer. I actually really like it. I didn't think I was going to because of the stickiness, but I don't mind it. It allows the makeup to just grip on there, you know? What I like to do is work it into my skin first, then just kind of like push it in there. So next we have a new foundation that I just got in and it is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. So it is a foundation and concealer in one. It's also uh, cruelty free, gluten free, vegan free. So if you open it up right here, you get the dope applicator for the concealer. If you close it back up and then pump it, you have foundation, which I thought was pretty cool. As far as the shade goes for this foundation, I don't think I would use this as a concealer. I think this is a little too dark to be my concealer, but I am really excited to try this out because I got the PR Miller last week and I counted 100 shades a foundation. They have so many shades to choose from, so I'm really excited to give this foundation a shot. And we're actually gonna blend this in with the Kabuki brush as usual. We're going with this one from It Cosmetics. Pretty good match. It's actually much of my skin tone. You guys know I normally go about a shade darker. The coverage I want to say is about it's about a pretty full, medium to full for sure. I think if you do like one pump, you'll get a medium. If you do two to three pumps, you'll get definitely a full. So I'm taking this up pretty high, which I'm still gonna go in with the concealer, but um, it's kind of nice you can go up high with it because it is evening everything out for me in this area. We're gonna need to contour and I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Chestnut. We just need some color. It's gonna make the biggest difference. So I'm gonna use a little stippling brush. This is from the Makeup Shack. Don't have a name on it, but it's a small little brush. And pretty much what I'm going to do is just Rotate this around my hairline. It gave me life on my forehead. 
my five head. Ew. I'm gonna go now and just kind of work the product up. That looks really good so far. It definitely leaves a nice dewy finish on the skin too. Next for concealer, we have a new one to try out. Pretty excited about these. They are these new ones from Marc Jacobs and I grabbed the shade like 23. I thought this kind of would be good for my skin tone and my, and my liking of a brighter highlight. So I'm just going to work this. I actually saw this go on on Nikki tutorials video that she did with uh, Marc Jacobs and Snoop Dogg. I was dying. If you guys haven't seen it, it's so good. Pretty much Snoop Dogg does her voiceover, like ultimate goals right there. I'm a huge Snoop Dogg fan my whole life. I would love if I could have like Maluma or J Balvin, a Bunny do my voiceover. Can you guys imagine that? That shit would be so sick. We're speaking it to existence because it's gonna happen one day. Ooh, I love me a bright highlight. You know what? Maybe I should pull a little facts about this concealer because I don't know the details on it. So this is a long wearing creamy concealer and the touch up stick, perfect for on the go. Available in 17 full coverage shades. Seamlessly blend for skin that looks totally natural, layers beautifully even under or over makeup, blurs of pores, fine lines, perfections. As someone said, it reminds them of the Fenty Beauty matchsticks, but the creamy long wearing formula. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. I would say this is like a medium coverage because your girl knows full. This is not too full. It's pretty good though. I feel like I look like a porcelain doll, but I also haven't worn makeup for a week, so I feel like Everything just looks so new to me right now. Feeling refreshed. So in case you guys are wondering why I didn't wear makeup for a week or what, like what, what happened? My beauty room was getting a makeover slash major purge happening in here. I hired a company to come out and pretty much help me organize this room. It was so out of control that I really needed help to get me like on the right track. And that's exactly what they did. So I couldn't film in here for about two days. So all of Wednesday we did that. Then we cleaned the walls in here. We like swept in here. It was just a total mess in this room. And then Thursday I found myself at Home Goods and CB2 and West Elm and all these stores because I was picking up things to finish up the room. I decided I wanted to decorate it. So that's kind of where it was, what I was doing, getting the full tour, um, probably going up after this video, uh, but definitely this week. And it's pretty much just an overview of the finish of the room, the decorations I decided to go with. I'm waiting on a couple things that are arriving this week before I finish off the final look. But once they arrive, we're gonna film it and then get it up for you guys. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Essay Water Stain Place Powder in the shade 3W. This is a really great powder that can be worn alone or on top of makeup. For this case, I'm gonna use it to set real quick and then from there, I'm gonna set with my transistor powder. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin and then from there we're gonna set with the actual powder. I'm doing it this way because I do feel like I look a little light, so I wanna warm up first and then bake on top of that. So I'm gonna be trying out this one today from Morphe. This is their Lama Bronze Face and Body Bronzer in the shade Megastar. I'm gonna be taking in this small brush right here. This is uh, from Japanesque. I'm gonna work it into the product first, especially because it's new. Just kinda wanna warm it up into my hands and into the brush. Now I'm gonna be going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. While I'm looking all crazy baking right now, I'm gonna finish off my lower lashes. So I'm gonna to touch back into my Proceed with Caution palette. So I'm going in with the shade Culture. I'm gonna create like a transition shade first. And now we're gonna go into Maintenance. And I'm gonna spray the brush down too to create more of a liner effect. This is really great, especially if you like smokiness. So I always like a little bit of drama right there on the outer corner of the eye. And then now I'm gonna go in with the shade Gloves On. Spray it down because I do not want this color to get anywhere. Okay, so I pretty much just connected it, but you see that I went really, really close to the lash line. So it gives more of a liner effect. Otherwise, it's going to just kind of get everywhere. So next, we're gonna be going in with eyeliner. And I'm actually kind of bummed out about my eyeliner selection today because I could not find my yellow eyeliner. I swear I had a yellow eyeliner somewhere, um, whether it was a gel or a liquid. or I can't, remember, I can't remember if it was a gel, but I know I had one and I could not find it anywhere. And I, that's what I was gonna use in my waterline. And I don't know what happened to it. So I thought maybe I can make my own eyeliner with the white one and then add the shade Caution. I'm gonna just try it out real quick. Technically, I can do it. I think, should I try it out? All right, I'm gonna go in now with the Kat Von D Cake Pencil Eyeliner. This is in the shade White Out. This line of cake liners are actually so, so good. So I know it'll hold and it'll last. 
pretty good. Let's go ahead and sweep this off and then add the other shade in there. So I'm gonna go back in with the palette and I'm gonna pick up the shade Dead End and I'm gonna add that to the inner corner of my eye as well as the shade Caution. So we're gonna be mixing two shades. We're gonna go ahead and tap first with that shade. And then now we're gonna pick up the shade Caution. We're gonna just go right over the shade Dead End. And then now go back in with Caution one more time. Ooh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So next we're gonna be adding some blush to my cheeks and gonna be using another one from the Shayla X Color Pop Collection. She has two shades. So one is Whistle While You Work, so cute. And it is gonna be this pink shade and then this one is called Construction, which is the one that I really like. It's like a natural tone type of blush. So I'm gonna pop this onto the apples of my cheeks. And the last thing I'm gonna do is apply some highlight to my skin. I have a new highlight for you guys. And this one is from Lunar Beauty and it is in the shade Venus. By far one of my favorite formulas and highlights that I've seen in a very long time. It is so good. It's so buttery once it goes on the skin. I mean, the swatch alone is beautiful, but the actual application is quite insane. So I'm gonna take in this very small brush with a very little bit and just barely hit my nose. like. A little bit of a brow highlight. So there's four shades, they launched total, but I have to say that this one I feel is the best for my skin tone. It just looks really nice and I just cannot, I cannot, cannot, cannot. Like it is way, 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 way too pretty, way too pretty. I mean, it's all the highlight I'm gonna add. I barely put anything on. It's like I'm working with whatever I have on the brush. Do not sleep on this one. So for my lips, we're gonna be using another one from the ColourPop Shayla Collection. And this one is Slow Down. I fell in love with this shade. It is like a perfect nude. And then she has two lip liners. And I love that Shayla is like me when it comes to lip liners. We like them a little deeper than the actual color. I know some people like to keep it similar or like almost matchy matchy. No, 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 no. The Chola in me needs it to be a little deeper. She just came through with these. So we're gonna be using the shade BFF3. And it is like a beautiful, rich brown shade that together, this is like just magic on the lips. So there's also a pink shade in the collection. It's not bright at all. It's like, I like little Nina pink, cute pink. So I'm gonna go first in with the lip liner. All right, guys, so here's the finished look on this maquillaje. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing all these products go down. Um, with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up so that I know you enjoy these videos. Be sure to leave me some comments. Check out my Instagram on days that I'm not uploading. I'm always posting photos on there, videos, stories, get to know me a little more. With that being said, guys, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in my next video.